Well, Humor and Harmony Day 2 events have already started and KSLA crews are in downtown Shreveport where people are gathering for the big festival. Now, KSLA's live team coverage of Humor and Harmony continues. Our crews are set up across the areas of interest in Shreveport, set to bring you the latest from the festival. Now, Donna Kia joins us now from downtown beside the G-Dome at Bally's Casino. We've got Tamer Knight at the Celebrity Lounge in Bally's Casino and KSLA's Chris Immersion is in downtown Shreveport ahead of the Celebrity Basketball Game. So we'll check in with everyone just to see how everything is coming together. Hey Bisky. Yes, I want to take a moment to recap some of the different safety measures and just how everything has been going safety and security wise throughout the festival so far. So as we know, yesterday was the first day of Humor and Harmony and today I had the chance to check in with both Shreveport Police and the Fire Department to see how everything went. Now when I spoke to Shreveport Police, they told me that there were no big arrests in the festival area last night, which is a great thing to hear. There were a couple arrests in the city, but none of them downtown, none of them close to where Humor and Harmony was taking place. Now as far as the fire department goes, they received responded to six different incidents yesterday pertaining to the festival. Now there was no wait time for first responders and the fire department to respond to those, which again is great news to hear. Out of those six incidents, two of them were um, transported and one of them was a heat emergency. So with that being said, you want to make sure that you are drinking your water. I've said it, our meteorologists have said it, first responders have said it as well. We want to make sure that you're staying hydrated in these hot temperatures. Now coming up on KSLA News 12 at 5, I'm going to let you hear directly from the fire department chief himself about what safety measures they have in place to keep this weekend going smoothly. For now, reporting in downtown Shreveport, Donna Kia, KSLA News 12.